Hi guys, it's from Mr. Vasin here again with another awesome blender tutorial. Okay guys, here are two renders. This one was rendered in 46 seconds and then this one was rendered in 22 seconds. So that's like times two of the other render time. So here is a tip I found. Okay, so now let's head back to blender now. Okay, I'll head back to blender now. So the traditional blender render tutorial is the one you're going to see online. It's definitely going to take you to the render. That's the cycles tab here. So to change some settings, you have the noise threshold, which the more you increase the noise threshold, the faster you're going to get your render. And then the lesser the noise threshold, the more time your render is going to take to process. Okay, so you would want to keep it at a moderate level from 100 to 200 up. The lesser the noise ratio, the more samples is going to render to give you more of a crisp and clear render. Okay, so now you have maximum sample. As much as this noise ratio is important, if you reduce this, it's going to override this uh, noise ratio. So the number of samples maximum is what it's going to give you. And then the number of sa uh, samples minimum is what it's going to give you, no matter the noise ratio. So just put as many max samples you think you're okay with. Okay, so that is it about the samples. So another thing that reduces your render time drastically is this light tree so make sure you uncheck this if you're having issues rendering faster okay so it's going to improve your render time okay so but that's not very significant i've tried it okay so now another one is light path so you can reduce this total and then check the ones you don't have in your scene here and then reduce them as much as possible and then the next one is fast gi approximation so this helps your blender render fast very very well as it approximates the environment so fast and then gives you a fast render okay so all these are the traditional render settings you have to check to improve your render and then make sure you render faster so now here is a new tip okay if you don't have anything running on blender or if we're not rendering anything let me just open you can click on the camera to get this in now so if we don't have anything we are rendering in blender if you're just modeling or doing anything compositing if you check the blender it does if you hover over on, on the blender tab you're going to see just one window of blender and that's the one window you're going to have but then when you start rendering let's click on render render image now you're going to see an extra window is going to pop up so if i hover on my blender icon here beneath here you're going to see an extra window so what this means now is like this window is kept running as well and then another window is brought up okay so with that now that requires more system power to keep this one running and then also keep your render going on okay so now the idea is to try to keep this blender view now in a much more place that's in a state where it's not going to consume much power so that the render will take much of the power rather than having to use the system power here and also using it on the render okay so here is what i mean by that you know if you move over from this uh, that's the render viewport mode to the wireframe viewport mode one thing you observe is you can pan easily without any glitch or having to like everything is going to be smooth even if you're doing an animation the animation is going to be way faster in wireframe mode rather than in render view mode because nothing is really um, being composed or no lightning setting nothing not it's just the wires okay so now this consumes less power from your pc than having to have the original render viewport mode on when you are rendering so with this menu now you can leave this menu now before you can now go over to render now and then render your image in this wireframe view mode so this is not going to affect your render as your render is set up already on the render view mode what you just need to click is render now and then the render the image out let's try it out now so you can see this image is going to render what you've set up on your render preview mode but however if you switch from this wireframe to this render viewport mode now it's going to still give you the same result which you're rendering but this now will now be consuming more system power and this will draw uh, will reduce your render time trust me i tried the boot and the, the first one was the one of the wireframe and it gave me this render which you have here for 22.4 seconds and then the second one which i had the render viewport mode on was the one that gave me this other render is exactly the same thing for 46.5 seconds so guys that is the hack i've tried it and exploited it on different models and is working okay so with this method you can at least double your render time if you're rendering in 10 minutes that could cut half to five minutes okay so guys thanks for watching this awesome tutorial make sure to try it out okay so if you tried it out and you got um, a good result let me know in the comment section and if you tried it out and yeah it didn't work as well let me know on the comment section okay thanks for watching if you did enjoy leave a thumbs up and do subscribe as well love to see you on my next video for now bye